Alrighty, it's time to save. Kazuma Kiryu! We're back. Okina, there's no way Okina was playable, right? Maybe his house? I just figured there's no way they're going to introduce all of Okinawa as playable at this point in the game. He did survive? I was right the first time. He did actually survive. あいつはあんたのことが嫌いなんだろう。何日か前、西島という男がここを訪れた。その時、お前の名前を口にしていたんだが、その話本当か。ああ。そうか。西島のやつ、ちゃんと生き延びていたのか。そうか。やはり知り合いなのか。ああ。それで西島はどうした。ちゃんとカムロ町にはいけたのかああ、向かった。その後無事にたどり着いたかまでは分からないがな。そうか。そうか。お前。あの西島って男とはどういう関係なんだ。兄弟だ。やつは俺の兄弟。キル。yeah, at first I was like, okay, so he washed up before Saijima, but that doesn't make any of the story make sense. Like, that's really strange and confusing. I guess it would, ma it would make Kiryu even less clever for figuring out Saijima, because he literally already was told about him before he arrived. But no, this guy arrived afterwards. Which raises new questions, because that means he's he was shot and has been bleeding for days? Untreated and unbandaged or anything? Did he wash up after days? He came up... He, why did he come out of the beach? They both fell into the ocean the same day, and then Saijima was here 
for like a day or two. Like it took a while for him to like recover and get dressed and wake up and get bandaged and so on and have multiple encounters with with Kiryu and and Haruka and so on. Like I don't remember the exact time window, but it was a big chunk of time. And then Kiryu says even more baffling that Saijima was here a few days ago. How long ago was he shot? How how long ago was Hamazaki shot to to right to not only be fine apparently, they just put some bandages on him and he's okay now I guess. But he also then came up to Kiryu's place from the beach. Why would he come from the beach? Did he wash up just now? Where has he been the whole time? I don't. I would be way more accepting if he just like walked up to Kiryu's place on the road already bandaged because he just you know believably took care of this somewhere else in some way and then came here for Kiryu's help but no he he shows up on the beach which is I'm like that implies that you got here basically the same way that Saijima did but took days longer while having a gunshot wound and I'm like I don't know if any of this works <laughs> I don't know I don't I don't know man so Amazaki what do you want uh. Well, it's kind of a long story, but Saijima, he's the guy who bumped off Yoshiharu Ueno, chairman of the Ueno Saiwa back in 85, except he didn't, because no one died that day, except they did die. Well, he didn't kill anybody, but also the one he's specifically known for killing didn't die at all. Wait, that's... Yep, you spend enough time in Kamurocho, you're going to hear that story. Which is why I've never heard that story, but maybe I have, I don't know, maybe they did foreshadow it. They probably, I don't know if they would have known to, because I don't know if they would have planned that ahead that far. I imagine that, I, I, I feel like each game's written when they realize they're making it most of the time, but I don't know how much they, how much they go. Daijima killed 18 men all by himself that day. This only gets more farcical the more times it's said at this point. That's what they say. Anyway, the two of us only just met. Both locked up in a private prison a stone's throw away from here. We met each other, we knew each other for 24 hours and we're blood brothers now. What do you mean, private prison? You never heard of the United States, have you? <laughs> oh no! What, what kind of dystopian society would have private prisons? I mean, the government's not involved. They put the contract in place, yeah. But the private sector's been running the joint since the day they broke ground. They call it Okinawa Penitentiary Number 2. Take it you never heard the name. No. I had no idea a place like that existed in Okinawa. Even after treating Saijima? They officially call it a correctional facility. But that's a load of bull. It's a dumping ground for washed up Yakuza. They want to snuff out for good. It was only a few days ago Saijima got shipped down from whatever shithole they had him up in Tokyo. I mean, it was better than that, apparently. Which is one you met. Bingo. And you two planned the jailbreak together? More or less. Though I'm the one who came up with the idea, if I'm being honest. Why'd you pick Saijima as your partner? You saw him, right? Guy's built like a freaking brick wall. And that's coming from this guy that looks like this. More importantly, I knew what really happened back in 85. The truth. Oh yeah? Did you... Did you tell him? I don't remember if you told him. You definitely didn't... You definitely didn't tell him about the rubber bullets if you knew that. So maybe you don't know the truth, which is even funnier. Go on. Back in the day, Sajima was a real tight with Majima. Yeah, that Majima. And that Ueno Saiwa hit? The one where Saijima slaughtered them, those 18 guys? That was originally going to be a two-man job. Saijima and Majima. Majima-san and Saijima were accomplices? Yep. But the day of the attack, Majima never showed. That betrayal is how I convinced Saijima to break out with me. Explains why Saijima was talking about revenge when he was here. Right, that's the level of truth we're dealing with. God, you have to rewind your brain so far back to remember what version of the story we were dealing with back then, which was just the fact that Majima 
uh, betrayed him, apparently. Not that Sai was still alive, and not that Saijima didn't kill anybody. <laughs> it's all bullshit, though. Majima would have never betrayed his brother. They were both set up. By who? Guy named Shibata was heading up a third-tier Tojo family at the time. Problem is, Saijima and I got split up before I got to tell him what really happened. Which is still not what really happened. I think I can guess the favor you want. Yeah, you gotta tell him the truth, no matter what. Why is it so important? As it stands, Saijima's gonna try and kill Majima. Not only that, but... Now they've met, they're, I think they're cool. <laughs> but... But... I really respect him. He doesn't deserve to be living life in the dark, you know? Hmm. I mean, sure, I only asked him to help me bust out because of how tough he is. But he actually started trusting me during the escape. Me, of all people. It's the funniest thing of all, honestly. Look, my life's been nothing but betrayal after betrayal. I've been on both sides of that coin. But two people looked beyond all that chose to trust me anyway. You and Saijima. Is so before or after the stabbing? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Kamazaki. I want another chance. To start over. To be a true brother to a guy who went out on a limb and actually trusted me. So I'm begging you, Kiryu son. You gotta help me. One question first. What's that? Why'd you need me to do it? Can't you go tell Saijima all this by yourself? Oh, there it goes. I was wondering what was going wrong. I'm like, does, does I have to wait for do I have to wait for the pan to finish? There we go. We're like waiting for the controller to realize that it's disconnected. There we go. <laughs> well, I. What is it, Hamazaki? これは。今からどういうことなんだ Akiyama got rich on dirty police money. A year back, when I was still suckling the Tojo clan tea, I found out the top brass over at Tokyo PD had their hands dirty. Real dirty. With tons of shady cash. Bet you can guess where I learned all that. The snake flower. Yep. They'd been working with one of the top men on the force for years. Laundered his money through foreign banks and everything. Well, I go through all that trouble, though. What did the police need with all that cash? What they needed was to build what one of their highest-ranking boys called their utopia. Penitentiary number two. Right again. The idea was they'd build a place to toss all the convicted Yakuza they round up, then go and make deals with those very same Yakuza. What kind of deals? Stuff like, stuff like bribing people to commit crimes. Then when the cops came in and saved the day, everyone would think they were the heroes. Crime would become a police-controlled affair. That's absurd. Yeah, an absurd power grab. 
Whoever handled those crimes would get big brownie points on the force, end up rocking their up their rank rocketing up their ranks. I still can't believe the ten billion Jingu was trying to launder through the Tojo. It was supposed to end up to the, with the cops. <laughs> Remember Jingu? What a memorable villain. He had a big mole on his forehead, and that's the only re reason you remember what he looks like. <laughs> that was pretty much it. He was barely in the game that he was the villain of. <laughs> Believe me, I was just as surprised as you when I found out. Even with the money getting blown to high heaven, the paper trail alone is some serious shit. Honestly, the only reason I grabbed this file in the first place is because I wanted a little dirt on the warden. Something I could use to bargain my way out of there, you know? I gotta say, I never thought I'd stumble- I never thought I'd stumble into a shitstorm this massive. It almost feels like it's out of my league, if you get me. I only sh show up on the Tokyo PD's doorstep with this baby in tow, and that'd be the last anyone ever hears of me. Hmm. Turns out this file's not the bargaining chip I was hoping it'd be. It's yours now. But why me? Because you were at the center of everything that went down five years ago. Hell, you even had the, to beat the shit out of your own brother to end it all. Then... Nah. Hear you? Come on, don't give me the silent treatment here. I just don't get it. Why did you show me that? I already told you. You gotta go to Kamurocho and tell my boy Saijima what really... There's more to it than that. I know there is. Besides, you would end up being... You would, you would end up behind bars again in no time with this... Without this bargaining chip of yours. It's not much of a bargaining chip if... Using it also gets him disappeared. So tell me, Hamazaki. What are you really after? これを見てくれ。俺らがいなくなっちまった登場会で今とんでもないことが起こってるんだ。俺はな、キリュ。そうじゃなきゃ。俺たちが命かけてきた登場会がなくなっちまうんだ。Kiryu has been a Yakuza like the whole franchise. <laughs> I genuinely struggle to remember when he was a Yakuza at this point. <laughs> oh no, the Tojo clan. Taichi in the house. Yo. We're, he we're home, Uncle Kaz. Looks like you kids had a good trip. You enjoy yourselves? Oh yeah, it was awesome. We hiked, went camping, even saw some old bones and stuff at a museum. <laughs> old bones and stuff. Wasn't it super cool, Koji? Mm-hmm. You gotta go, go with us sometime, Uncle Cass. How was your grades trip, Ayako? Great! Ayako? Ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-ne-
そうだよな俺は悪党だもんな浜崎悪かったなはるかちゃんよその子たちに近づこうとしてはるかもういいだろよくないいいわけないじゃないおじさんは本当に浜崎って人のこと信用してるのああしてるよもういいもう私おじさんがどうなっても知らないからいや、アクセスのハイダウン。いや、もう、かな。I'm kind of with Haruka. It's, it's a little jarring how little anyone else seems to give a fuck about how he stabbed him. Because he stabbed him. It's kind of a problem. Kind of a big deal. Her boy stabbed you in the middle of Theater Square, where no one ever gets away with anything, but then stuff keeps happening there. You're back. You're going back to Kamurocho, aren't you? Yeah, they didn't put Okinawa in this game. I assume. Aruka, I. I just don't get it, Uncle Kaz. How can you trust him so easily? He stabbed you in broad daylight, Uncle Kaz. You almost died. I'll never trust him. Never in a million years. Aruka, please. Whenever I see him, I just think back to what happened last year. What he did to you. That memory terrifies me, Uncle Kaz. Haruka. I've always believed in you. You know I have. But this time, I'm really worried. It feels like if you go to Tokyo now, you're never going to come home. You heard us talking last night, huh? Maybe you want to know what happened five years ago, but I don't care one way or another. I just want you to be safe. You don't care? Haruka, you lost both your parents in that incident. I lost Nishiki and Kazuma-san. If there was really something more going on behind the scenes, wouldn't you want to know what it is? I... I'm happy just being here with you, Uncle Kaz. That's all I need, not the truth, just you. Araka. Anjinjina. Kiryu wa Tokyo ya ikanai. Sore ni orre mo ima sun koko otete iku yo. Hamasaki. Mou kimetan da. 俺は鞘島に真実が伝わりゃそれでいいそれは他の誰かに頼むとしようだからキーユさんよあのファイルのことは忘れてくれあんたにはここでの新しい生活があるんだろうでもそれじゃお前が心配すんな俺は結構しぶとい獄中で鞘島の帰りをゆっくり待つとするよ浜崎。guess I'm gonna head down to the station now. Turn myself in. Already? Sooner the better, I figure. Anyway, I'll be seeing you, Kiryu-san. Hold on. Do you even know where the police station is? I'm an adult. I got eyes. I'll find it. I'm coming with you, Hamazaki. Might have had our differences, but you at least deserve a proper send off after all we've been through together. Heh. <laughs> Suit yourself. Is the police station going to be in this game? Are we? I don't know. Let's see.
And off they go. But like, Kiryu's going to Tokyo. <laughs> so like, the tension doesn't necessarily work. Oh yeah, they're gonna go straight to the place. Exterior shot only. That's a decent amount of... That's still a decent amount of Okinawa, though. You sure about this, Hamazaki? 100%. The only way I'm reuniting with Saijima is when we're both back in the slammer. Don't y'all have phones? Don't you have somebody you can call? Just back? In... Tokyo? That, like... Might have heard of Saijima? Just anyone, really. Call Date, maybe? Since the police are all after him? Hamazaki. Please, why won't you listen to me? Oh, wow. Timing. I forgot. She, I, yeah, I forgot. She went back to Okinawa, which makes us all fit together. My brother was sent to a prison in Okinawa. I know he was. She doesn't even know that he escaped. Well, now you can tell her. Now you're all set. Except Kiryu's gonna be like, a woman, I have to protect her, and then goes to Tokyo. <laughs> You can say that all you want, lady, but I've never heard of this penitentiary number two you keep going on about. Now go home already. No. Please, you have to listen to me. I'm begging you. You already have listened. Listen. I already told you. We looked through the logs of every prisoner shipped down here. Your brother isn't, and has never been, in an Okinawa prison. He is. I just know he is. Please. Check for Taiga Saijima one more time. Please, officer. What? Huh? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. I'm going to be able to get it. I'm going to be able to タイガーは私の兄です。ちょっと警察署の前では都合が悪いな。もしよければ少しお話を聞かせてもらえませんか。もしかして兄のことで何かご存知なんですか。ああ、場合によっちゃあんたの力になれるかもしれん。とにかく
I'm at my wit's end here. You ask us on, yeah? Anyone who t told you about penitentiary number two doesn't exist, either doesn't know the truth, or was lying to you. It's real, all right. What? I should know. I've been there. You have? Oh, yeah. They gave me some fancy name and number like a regular old prison. But it's not actually government run. You ever heard of a private prison? No, never. In what world could such a dystopian nightmare ever exist? <laughs> oh, of course. And what's the, and that's what penitentiary number two is? Yep. Details are going to have to come later, though. I've got some more important news for you first. Truth of the matter is, I know your brother. You know Taiga? Mm-hmm. Oh, and here's another grain of truth for you. He's not- he's long gone from Okinawa. Probably reached Kamurocho by now, if I had to guess. Me and him broke out together a few days ago. You... what? He's telling the truth. Your brother washed up at my orphanage the next day, and I ended up giving some money- him some money to get up to Kamurocho. Sorry, Yasko. You just missed him. In that case... I can't afford to waste any more time here. I need to get back to Kamurocho at once. どういうことだ、これは。どうした変な連中が大量にビルに入ってきやがった。刺すかもしれん。どうする気よ。今警察に捕まったら説明するのに時間がかかる。とりあえずここだよ。If there's anywhere we won't be interrupted, it's here. Oh no, we've been interrupted. <laughs> nailed it, nailed it, cure you. This is why you don't make the plans. Oh no, the hardest boss fight's back. I saw him. Did you bring your douchey stun baton? So, that's the bitch that went running to the police, begging to see Saijima. Who are these guys, Hamazaki? Guards, from that shithole penitentiary I was telling you about. These pricks are the cruelest goons in the business. Heh. <laughs> Rich coming from an escaped convict. Look, I'll go back with you, whatever I gotta do. Just leave these two out of it. They don't got a damn thing to do with this. No can do. Don't worry, Hamazaki. We're not gonna kill you. But we're gonna need some serious attitude adjustment once uh, bef uh, once we get you back in the slammer. Might have to beat you till you, till you change. Either way, that bitch isn't going anywhere. Why? This is between you and me. Sorry, but Warden's orders. He told me to bring Taiga Saijima's sister b and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Me? But why would... That's a lot of bull. Amazaki. Huh? Take care of Yasuko-san. I don't think he's going to. Honestly, I think Yasuko's gonna get kidnapped, and that's gonna be Kazuma Kiryu's in, uh, incentive to actually go to, to Tokyo, since apparently the previous version of the story wasn't enough. What? What are you saying, Kiryu? I'll handle the guards. You stay behind me and keep her safe, understand? Another character has to fight this fucker in his first chapter? God damn it. Give me upgrades first. This guy sucks. Yeah. You hear that? If you want to get to Yasuko, you're gonna to have to go through me. Do you start at level 20, please? <laughs> and who are you, tough guy? Someone who spent almost a quarter of his life in prison. And I can and I can tell, you're no ordinary guards. 
Hmm. Step aside, pal. Or who knows, we might just accidentally beat you to death. I think you'll find this not as easy as you expect. Heh. <laughs> Your funeral. No more fucking around. Slaughter him. His hands up because he's in sumo mode. I like how they all take on different poses. He has a fighting style. Yeah, I'm level one. Oh boy. Well, we get to play as Kiryu now. Something get, makes me feel like he's going to be weaker than uh, he was when he fought Saijima. In fact, I bet I can. Uh, can I. F Let's see. Yep. Wow. Interesting how I can't use Tiger Drop. Even though he used it against me when I fought him. Thanks. Anyway. Where is Saito? Oh, there he is. At least it's not electrified like it was in the in the arcade machine. That's just a stick. Step. Do I have any heat actions yet? Ow, shit. No. Damn it. I always fuck up the mashing because I I usually am already pressing something. So that makes him do an attack at no at nobody. Okay. Okay. Gah. Thank God you can level mid fight. Okay. Definitely heat actions. Whoa. So he starts off with some skills. He can taunt people. He's got Phoenix Spirit. Faster attacks. This is this is a funny upgrade to have in the game. Already learned, because it means there's no version of him that doesn't have it. So it's not really an upgrade. He can do the running kick. He has a lot of body. Better quick steps. Kamaki cat-like reflexes so he can get back up when he falls down. He can double tumble, I think. His grabs are better. His throws are better. Gets up faster. He has, starts off with regard. Escape from an enemy hold faster by enhancing your physical strength. Throwing is easier. He has a quick step cancel. He has every body upgrade Im immediately. So he gets some of the Kiryu here. He can heat action on somebody that's down. He can grab and heat them in red heat mode. He has a separate heat mode. He can drop people on each other. He's got that move. He can swing people. Grab an enemy's leg. So when I'm low on health, I can just have a really big murder. What are those red things on the screen? Huh. Essence of smoking? Press Y while smoking a cigarette? What? So I have red heat mo moves. Which I think that's when it's maxed out. Mash two heads together. Maki Fist Reversal. Why against an unarmed attack? Only works on weaker enemies. So how do I get the... Uh... So I have enough heat actions already. I don't have to worry about that right now. Let's figure out how to get the... The best move. The Tiger Drop. Requires the Kamaki Knockback. Which requires being level 10. Fuck. <laughs> so I'm not going to get that for a while. Damn it. Jump over guardrails and other objects. Essence of hurling. Grab an enemy from behind. Drunk running pole dance attack. <laughs> he has so many heat actions. A flowing attack from a forward roll. Doing a Kamaki Daruma tumbler. Large weapon. I mean, I'm gonna have to have that one. Fence posts. Oh, all oh my heat actually. Oh, my heat's gone. Because this dick is a weapon still. Fuck. I'm just bouncing off the fucking wall. Alright, at least there's no more ads. Ugh. Nope. 
What's up? I got a trash can. God damn it! Can't believe there's three fights against this guy. Uh... No. Ah. God damn it. it. That was such a flicker of, of availability. Brutal. God, I cannot get ready for a heat. You. Ah, I'm already out of heat. God damn it. Ah. Just let me heat action somebody. Please. Thank you. Guy gets up too fast. God damn. Stop! Stop it! I can't move! What the fuck? Just win! There we go. God damn it, the way he juggles you on, on walls is brutal. I'm gonna lose. God, do I need to use another one? Grab him. Please don't fucking die right now. Cure you. There's a really confusing hierarchy going on here, where Saejima beat this guy, but Kiryu crushed Saejima. But now I'm back to losing. Like rock, paper, scissors, I guess. Fuck you! That was satisfying. It's my stick now. What, are there more? I beat the boss. God, is he gonna come back? <gasps> I can counter swords again. And, yes, and guns. Kiryu's goddamn moves where he's stronger when the enemy has a weapon because it gets you get to do something to them. Yes. Stock up all on my all my ridiculous moves. There must be more down here. I hope he doesn't. He's gonna get back up, isn't he? And I have to fight him again. Yup, we're doing one of these. What is that? A grenade? It's absolutely gonna happen. That bat. Ow! You hit your own dudes and yourself. Yeah. No, my heat. God damn it. Sup? Ooh, that was a sound. That pan clang. I've got a trash can. I'm not running. No, it's not. Nah, if it goes that slow. You can't run with an empty trash can, Kiryu? Come on. The great cosmic Kiryu. Has to move slow. Yeah, it's, it'll take so far, so, so long to get somewhere. Okay, there's item pickups. But no, I've done this kind of segment before, though. The, the one boss dude definitely just gets back up, and you have to fight him again at the end. 
So hopefully I got a, like five levels stronger by the time that happens. There you go. It's my couch now, or not. That guy's got a gun. But he, maybe he doesn't see me yet? <laughs> Now. Stronger I grow. Fighting stance while drunk. Press Y while knocked down. Relentlessly wreck the face of an enemy. Press Y in front of an enemy rising to his feet. There's so many. Is he not gonna shoot me? I guess not. Hello. Uh, I forgot to press the. I, I should have hit it heat. I was too concerned about like not getting shot, but I have an action that stops me from being up. Oh. All right, that was just my periodic freak out, or my game freaks out. So reinstalling my drivers didn't fix that. That's great. Oh, shit. Yuck! I got a gun, you fucker! Oh, it's so weak. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why is he bulletproof? I hate this guy. What is he, like, fucking Terminator? Alright, well, he's back. Why is he so fucking durable? He's got two health bars again. <laughs> I wish one of these people, when they defeat him, would take his gun, at the very least. It seems like it'd be nice of them to do. Do any of my heat actions work against people with weapons? Oh, it doesn't matter. It immediately drains below max anyway. God damn it. This guy sucks. Yes, maximum bounce. That's just not enough. Ah, oh, it just needs to be so much more damage than that. That's the only. Was that the only couch? Because that's that's a nice heavy weapon that actually can beat him against a wall and do bad. There's one bench, I guess. Words mean things, but only cowards stick to meanings. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, God damn it! I should have committed. I felt silly for swinging him over, swinging over him the first two times. Get my turn, Dick. No. Oh. Me alone. No, oh, that's all we got. Come over here. Thank you. Alright. Is this heavy? Ah, oh, it's overhead. Damn it. It's shittier. Uh, broke already. Nope. Nope. Not there. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have done that. But I don't know how much I can get another heat action off on him without him interrupting it or and making me lose my heat. Ow. All this magic hurt my hand. At least his combo opener is really fast. That punch comes quick. The gun is still in play. Maybe if I grab it, I can use a heat action with it, where, where, where magic bullets come out? <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> oh, how you gotta miss like that? That is one durability? <laughs> kind of remarkable. Nah. Come 
God damn. Ah, fuck. Don't immediately make me lose my shit. Oh, uh, the gun's not in play anymore? I thought I had an icon over it. Shit. Maybe it's just a cloud of other items around it, apparently. My heat's gone! Fucking grabs. If you get grabbed by anyone, you just lose all of your heat. It's brutal. Like, I used a consumable for that, you bastard. I didn't even get to use it. Fuck, I'm in a corner. God. Grabs. Do it. Got it. God damn it. He can just interrupt my combos. I don't... I don't... I, I feel like I don't know how to play y Yakuza, despite this being my sixth one. I, I don't get it. I don't get how to play better. What do you do against guys that just interrupt everything magically? And are like, can just block forever? And I think it is forever. I don't think there's like, you can do much about it. No, grab him before you lose your heat. Motherfucker, I just used an item. You dick. I didn't even get to... Ah. It sucks so much when that happens. Can't even try to do one heat action. It's just immediately gone. The decay is so rough. God, just fucking die. We're like right there. Ah! Uh. Playing it cool, but he's apparently he must have like opened all his wounds again. 
So he's out. I was right. <laughs> Yasuko's basically here so that Kiryu has a damsel to protect. And then she, then he's like, well, now I gotta go to Kamurocho. And that's basically like, that's like a lot of her actual role in making the plot happen. She kind of does just go from character to character and get them all involved in the story. Uh, except for the one person that she wants to actually find who's preemptively involved in the story because he's the guy that did the massacre that wasn't a massacre. Well, it was a massacre, but it wasn't his massacre. <laughs> Don't get confused. It's simple. <laughs>